Good afternoon from Disney Springs. Today we are dining for brunch here at Summer House on the Lake to prep for our very busy day. Tonight we are going to the WWE 2024 Royal Rumble. And if you're here for that specifically, please skip to this timestamp in the video. For the Love of Vlogging is an Orlando local vlogging channel. A lot of theme parks, a lot of other fun stuff. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay, let's go eat. We did just take our seat here at Summer House on the Lake and I wanted to briefly go over the menu that we have here for brunch because brunch is a different menu from their regular menu. They do have some of the regular items, but mostly it's all like breakfasty stuff. And very important note, they do not run brunch every single day. This is a Saturday and Sunday exclusive here at Disney Springs is Summer House on the Lake brunch. So that's an important thing to remember. So like I mentioned, we are first looking at some starters that they normally have during their regular like hours during every single day, seven days a week. The jalapeno cornbread, cheesy dream puffs, warm edamame, signature guacamole. A lot of these we actually got last time. If you haven't checked out the last video, make sure to do that for sure. Potato salad, deviled eggs, truffle fries, prime beef meatballs. These are just some of the signature items that they have during the brunch as well as all of the brunch specialties. We did already order one thing and that is the famous giant cinnamon roll. Now this one is an $18 cinnamon roll, but I've already seen videos and photos of it. I cannot wait. I may have underestimated what the giant part of the giant cinnamon roll meant. Um, this is the appetizer. <laughs> I was really easily persuaded to order this. I cave easily to peer pressure. Before we dig in, I do want to talk about, I feel like I always do a bad job at this. Uh, I got an orange juice to drink and Isabel got an iced coffee. It's a vanilla iced latte. I'm trying to be a good vlogger boy today and actually highlight the stuff that we're getting rather than just joke around the whole time. <laughs> I cannot stress the weight of this. Like this is a heavy, heavy dish. If somebody were to like eat this in one sitting, that's gonna be one big, one big poop. I feel like this could be a Disney Springs eating challenge. Like you have to eat one of these and three Gideon's cookies in one day in 24 hours and then uh, you'll win a prize. I don't know, I'm not offering up a prize. I'm just, this is this is crazy, look at this. Now I don't think this is a cheese pole because obviously there's no cheese in here. Well actually there is cheese, there's like cream cheese on top, maybe that counts. There you go, I'm gonna get some more of that center gooey. Am I the only one who loves the center? Oh my God, oh. Okay, here goes the first bite. I, seriously. I've seen other people review the brunch already. And they're like, this is the only reason to come to brunch is for this. Oh my God. So obviously a huge thing to note is that this is an $18 cinnamon roll, but it's a dish for the table. And $18 is a lot of money for a cinnamon roll. That being said, it is the best cinnamon roll I've maybe ever had, maybe. I love blueberry, I love berry mixed with breakfast dessert, and this is absolutely perfect. I think this is very good, and I think it would be a really good appetizer, especially if you have a couple of friends. Like, if it's not just two of you, it might be a little bit too much if it's just two of you, because uh, <laughs> it is a lot. But uh, if you have like four of you, I think it would be a really good appetizer to split. And um, I really like the blueberries. I don't like blueberries themselves, but I like blueberry flavoring. So the blueberry sauce is nice, as long as I don't eat the blueberries themselves. I literally have to stop myself from eating the cinnamon roll and we have to take the rest home because we have such a huge day ahead of us and this is probably not a good idea to like eat this whole thing and entrees, which we did just order and that'll be coming out very soon. Can't wait to show you what I got. Our food just came and I got the strawberry waffles. Um, we'll see how it compares to the liege waffle at Epcot. I know that's Ryan's favorite. And I got the breakfast burrito, which has eggs, pico de gallo, guacamole, I think bacon and or sausage, as well as a side of fries, which normally does not come with a side of fries. It comes with a side salad, but I requested fries because you could swap it out easily. And it comes with a really, really nice, what is this? Do you know what this is? Guac. I think it's, no, it's like salsa, like it's salsa verde, I think. One thing I do want to note is that uh, this is a lot smaller than I expected. I believe this dish is like 17-ish dollars, which is a lot, but we are at Disney, so that's to be expected. Um, but it's a little bit smaller. I mean, I guess it's better because I can actually finish the whole thing and not have to take it home, but that first bite was all avocado. 
Ooh, it's a little spicy too. Wow. I didn't expect that, but I wanted that actually. I don't know if it's the fact that this restaurant really gives off like white people vibes, but I did not expect this breakfast burrito to have any kick to it whatsoever, but it's really, really good, honestly. I gotta I gotta dig a little bit more in here, maybe put some like of the salsa verde on there as well, just to see how how, how much more kick it could possibly have. This waffle is uh very, very good. It's delicious. I actually I actually made a weird noise when I was eating it, and Ryan's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just really enjoying my waffle. I'm sorry. Okay, now I've got my uh, sloppy burrito here, and we'll see if that sounds weird. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, you know what this could use? Um, some potatoes. Like a little bit of breakfast potato on the inside because it's very mushy. I don't know, like there's a lot of, there's meat in here, there's substance and stuff, but like if you're getting a regular burrito, they have the rice and or like steak or chicken or whatever that is like kind of chunky, but the sausage is very sausagey and it's just kind of mushy, but I like it a lot. Like, honestly, this is so good. As I'm finishing my breakfast here, I was just mentioning to Isabel, like, I am so glad that this is here in the first place. Like, Summer House on the Lake has been a very, very long time coming. If you guys don't remember, this area of Disney Springs was behind construction walls for literally four and a half years. This feels like this is like Disney Springs turned into the center of Epcot. And we finally have something here that is like a very good solid meal, a very good solid Disney restaurant. Sorry. A very good solid Disney Springs restaurant that like offers something different from everywhere else. So I'm very, I don't know, I'm grateful. Even if like some people don't give like absolutely perfect reviews to a new restaurant at Disney, like this is a huge, huge plus addition here. Isabel, did you like your meal? Oh, I was gonna, I was good, okay. I liked my meal a lot. I thought it was really good. The waffles were delicious. I love me some strawberries. The iced coffee, I already knew I was gonna like the iced coffee, or it was the latte, because I've gotten the latte over at the cookie bar before, so I knew I was gonna like it. So, that wasn't very surprising to me, but it was delicious nonetheless. So, I liked it a lot. So what you're saying is you like this meal a latte? <laughs> Do I? Apparently I have something in my teeth. One thing absolutely nobody is talking about is these tables. Let me show you something. All of these tables in this area of the restaurant have these little hooks and I believe they're like hooks for purses because you know, a lot of people coming here will have purses. But this is our to-go bag of our cinnamon roll. And they, here's one that's not being used. Weird, I know. Brunch at Summer House on the Lake runs on Saturdays and Sundays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m which is also super interesting because most things at Disney Springs don't open until 10 a.m. So. Hello. <gasps> Hello puppies. Hi. Hi. Hey girls, come here. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're crazy. You're being crazy. Come here, Maya. Everybody say hello to Maya. No? Oh, that Callie, she's crazy. You are currently looking at the aftermath of the filming of a Roosevelt's ad that I'm currently working on. I can't tell you exactly what it's for, but I have been working on quite a few for my favorite apparel brand, Roosevelt's. Check it out. Links. I don't know. You'll find the links easily. <laughs> and I guess that leaves the perfect setup for me to share with you all that I am so, so pumped that I will be at Megacon Orlando this coming February 1st through February 4th. I was lucky enough to be out with them over at New York Comic Con back in October, but this one, obviously a lot closer to home, will be so, so much fun. I know there are a lot of people that watch this channel that are local to Orlando, so if you happen to already be going to Megacon and you wanna stop by the Roosevelt's booth and say hi, I will be in and around there, I'll be filming a lot of content, so there's no guarantee exactly if I'll be there, but I'll be there every single day. So if you see me on the show floor, if you wanna be a part of a video, if you wanna say hi to a vlog, anything like that, please, please stop me and say hi. If you happen to be there, and if you don't happen to be there, I think there are still tickets available as of right now. Anyway, I'm super, super pumped and very, very fortunate to have such a great working relationship with uh, the Roosevelt's team, and I cannot wait for this coming weekend. Uh, geez, it's like less than a week away, that's crazy. Also, apologies on the very messy studio right now. We have multiple different backgrounds, working very hard on lots of fun videos that you may or may not see in the future. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and obviously in the thumbnail, we're actually headed to Tampa, and we have to leave right now. Okay, let's... Let's go guys. Okay, you're coming with, you're coming with. We are currently on our way to Tampa, Florida to go to the Royal Rumble. Now this is the first WWE live event scenario that I have been in 
we've both been in since 2017, the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. We have not... No, we're not in the pay-per-view, no. No, we're not wrestling. <laughs> but this is the first one we've attended in quite a bit of time uh, because the company is... There's been another wrestling company, AEW, that we've been supporting a lot. If you're a supporter of this channel, you know I'm a fan of wrestling. But we're going back because it's the Royal Rumble and it's the greatest, like, pay-per-view wrestling event of the entire year. Literally, more important than WrestleMania. And I am pumped for tonight. I'm hoping we see... All my favorite wrestlers, some big ones that I've never seen wrestled. Maybe The Rock? I don't know. For sure, CM Punk and all that, you know. It'll be fun. I'm excited. So I've never been to Tropicana Field before. Isabel, have you? No. I don't know where we're going, but we finally parked, and the event has already started at 8 o'clock. So we're running a little behind. So uh, we've made it inside. This is the most confusing stadium I've ever been to. We did, uh, we did pull up the Peacock stream of the Royal Rumble and the women's matches first. So we are currently missing that right now. So as soon as we found out exactly where we're going here at Tropicana Field, I just want to say this room is absolutely massive. And I don't think I've ever seen any wrestling, let alone sporting event, in a room that was this like, I don't know, I haven't been in a lot of like domes personally, like sporting domes, does that make sense? As we were looping around the backside of the outfield of Tropicana Field, which is the home of the Tampa Bay Rays, there was this massive screen on our right hand side that was displaying everything that was happening in the ring. Little did we know that would be the screen we would be looking at most of the time because of how far away our seats were and it was like kinda blocking one of the main screens as well that's like above the ring, I understand. I know most of you here are not diehard wrestling fans. You're probably a diehard theme park fan, so I'm going to try to keep it more dumbed down, simple, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> First match was the Women's Royal Rumble match, and we both actually enjoyed this very, very much. Isabel, were you a big fan? Yes. By far the best match of the night. It was very entertaining. I enjoyed every minute of this match. Uh, Bailey ended up winning. That was great, and that was the right choice. There is also a debut of a former AEW wrestler, Jade Cargill, now just known as Jade. Very, very talented person. Very large, scary woman, which is a good thing in wrestling, correct? Yeah, she scares the crap out of me. I don't know. I want, like, I'm so close to being like, maybe I just go into full wrestling jargon and be like, oh, this one spot was really good. <laughs> you know, Nia Jax had a lot of heat. Like, like nobody's going to know what I'm saying here at all. So let me, let's just move on. <laughs> My one complaint about the Women's Rumble, which was, like I said, by far the best match of the night, is that uh, it was not won by Candice LeRae, and she was the first woman eliminated. I think. We think. We think. We showed up late. We got there a little bit late. Parking was The parking situation was a little bit hairy, but uh, I think she should have won. Unfortunately, because this is a Royal Rumble pay-per-view, a lot of the other matches on the card were fairly lackluster because it wasn't a Royal Rumble match. Unfortunately, the rumors and innuendo surrounding the men's Royal Rumble match tonight was in surrounding The Rock possibly being there and being involved, as well as my own stupidity, thinking there was at all a chance that the former world's most famous wrestler of all time Stone Cold Steve Austin might possibly be there as well. Mainly because at the merch stand, they're selling this shirt, which is a Stone Cold Steve Austin, like Tampa Bay 316 shirt. I was like, oh my, oh, this could be it. Maybe, and he wrestled like what? One year ago, two years ago at WrestleMania and it didn't happen. It was an ugly ass shirt too. Yeah, it was not a really good looking shirt. I, the first time I saw the shirt, somebody wearing the shirt, I thought it was just a homemade shirt. His bus is Randy this. Orton. <laughs> it's Randy Orton. <laughs> no, literally point to Randy Orton. <laughs> okay, so we're on the highway home right now, back to Orlando, and there are some large tour buses that, that are. That one's completely blacked out. This one's blacked out. One of I'm not even kidding. I think one of them is probably CM Punk. CM Punk, Larry. No, <laughs> they're going to wherever Raw is, which I don't know where that is. Yeah, so the Men's Rumble was uh, a little lackluster. I was kind of disappointed with it overall. We had a great return from Andrade, Andrade Cien Almas, whatever he's known he as looked, now. He looks scary as hell. 
Yeah, he came out in a mask, and he was very jacked more so than before. And we saw him wrestle last last month in AEW, which is crazy to say. Other than that, I don't think there was any like huge like surprises in the men's rumble. We had Cody Rhodes and CM Punk, which were clearly announced beforehand. CM Punk was good to see him wrestle again. Okay, I know there's a lot of. Whatever, as long as I don't use real glass, that's all. Nobody's gonna understand anything I'm saying. I cannot make these references. <laughs> but seeing CM Punk was great. Uh, that was good. One of my all time favorite wrestlers, probably still, even though there's a lot of controversy, negative stuff like that, you know. I kept my teeth, I kept my mouth to myself. I didn't bite anybody. Nobody's gonna, this is gonna be so, no, like everyone watches and be like, what are they talking about? <laughs> so in the Men's Royal Rumble, there are 30 entrants. We thought that getting close to 30, maybe we would see The Rock, maybe we would see um, other wrestlers, Stone Cold, maybe even Hulk Hogan. I know that's stupid and I don't like Hulk Hogan, but he was teasing it on Raw. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, I don't wanna see it, but he's from Tampa and we're in Tampa and whatever. Like I said, this is the very first WWE event I've been to in like six-ish years in person. That being said, uh, it's very different from the close to 10 different AEW slash Ring of Honor events I've been to in the past three years since moving to Orlando. And there's a huge difference between the two fan bases and crowds, so that was like a bit of a change for me, especially because we haven't been there in so long, but it was definitely a fun event. And I'm very, very glad we went to our first Rumble. I don't know if we're gonna go to one again because of how packed it was and we didn't like the large, large crowds. It was crazy. The fireworks, the fireworks were so loud. I bring earplugs with me pretty much everywhere I go. I bring loop earplugs with me. Free advertising loop. Hey, You're whoa, whoa, welcome. Hold on, hold on. We gotta get a deal with them first. Hold on. Um, I bring loop earplugs with me pretty much everywhere I wear, where, everywhere I go, because I'm constantly overstimulated. Um, but even with the earplugs, it was so loud when the fireworks went off. It was unbelievable. I do want to say, I hope all the pity viewers did not mind that we did something like a little different outside of the theme parks at least, at least during half of this video today. If you would like to see more of that, have any other suggestions outside of the Orlando parks, please let me know in the comments down below so that I know that you made it all the way to the end of this video. Okay, it's really late. It's literally 3 a.m. right now and we just got back home. Okay, I gotta go to bed. I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks. Bye.